a portion, and we are getting started into the match right now. Zark versus Benjormo. Man, this is this is gonna be exciting. Jiren Anchor, you don't really see that a lot often. You don't really see Jiren Anchor too much, but the B assist incredibly strong. Not too much variety here. Nope. I'm excited. Go Geo 4. I love this character. He's broken. We have seen these guys a couple times before, Jake. Right? Yeah. Zark we saw in Europe 4. He's taken names there. German representative. Bren Jeromo, though. We've seen him a number of times in the CVKs, in the qualifying matches. So he's looking to finally break through, get himself just that little bit closer. But we're going to kick it off. Zark going up against Jeromo, and it starts right here, right now. Yeah. And I really like the, sh the shell on Zark's side. It's just very mm. neutral dominant. But after you get stuck in the corner immediately, I'm plus, why are you rolling forward? Probably trying to go for a dash LS, but now 50%. The dog of the drop? No. Yeah, I managed to get out. Like you were saying, it, it's great neutral, but once you get locked up, it's it, it doesn't matter how much neutral you have, right? You're going to get 50 50. You're going to get mixed. But I love this movement here from Zark. He's going to be able to connect with the JM and straight to the corner we go. Are we going to pop level three? No, EX. Dive, and that should give him safe touch. Yeah, nice. Spark force. You know, I don't 100% agree with the spark. Next touch wasn't mm. going to kill, but probably just wanted to get out of pressure because now Sparking is going to lead to a bad Blue Goku. And by winning the point war, you know, typically you want to spell the, you want to spend the spark to save a character or kill a character. And Prince Yormo definitely achieved that goal. First character in the point war going his way. Yeah, I mean, he spent the spark, and I, I do agree. Next hit wasn't going to kill. He was kind of safe, but it does give him that momentum, and it, it gives Zark something to think about, because if you do get hit, he's going to build up near to kill, and that's exactly what happened. Zark down the character, but he still has sparking on his side, and I love that. Just standing inside of that 21, this is making it so difficult to catch. And Jerome is going to have to eat a level 3. I don't know which one, though. No, he doesn't. Oh, no. That was actually really interesting. Trying to go for a cheeky left-right there with this jump back. But, you know, just take the 50-50s, spend the exactly. ball. It's so potent, but Benjamin going on the offensive, hits him with the plus range, but nothing to confirm into. Just backs off, can't get anything, no assist to work with. Yeah, but gets caught by the full screen, air stream. Looking oh, like he's a fan of air gear out here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, now stuck in the corner, and again, look at all the bar that Zark had. Mm -hmm. Now, still sitting on six, almost seven. You could have taken a 50-50, and a character would have already been eliminated, but you did not do eSports! Oh, oh, eSports kicks comes out, man, it's like, and look at that scaling, Jake. Oh, better oh, yet, look, look at the lack of no! scaling, the drop, the curse from Jake! Oh. And that the, should be a dead character. The best combo is the one that kills, and I don't yeah. think that people people realize that enough. Sometimes you just gotta kiss him. Keep it simple, stupid. Absolutely, and Zark might be regretting that, but he does have the uh, the secret weapon in the back, right? Andrew 21 with seven bar with sparking. That's at least like four 50-50s if you can get a couple clean hits, and that's exactly what he's gonna look to do. But I like this from Benjamin. Just take it chill. Good jump out. Nice cancel. That is actually not a real block swing. I don't think Fred Jormo saw that, but you can you can two H that dive there. So kind of letting him get away with murder. But there's there's 160 seconds left on the clock. Zark's got a two touch all of these characters minus two by Goku, and that is not the way you want to start on this last character. No two H on the super dash. Now you're holding this pressure, leveling up. Oh, it's getting uh -oh. cheap. It's not Leaving your turn. When someone starts leveling up in their, in your string, in their string, that's when you know they're really confident. But the spark comes out. I think Zark just didn't want to be punishable after that 2H and Lightning Hammer will connect. Going to transition into the Vanish. And just auto combo. Keep it simple and just waste as much of that time as you can. Honestly, getting the getting the up tech there from from Zark isn't too bad because sparking is going to be burned. Because Zark finally getting a hit. Then they go to the 50 50 here. You got it. Ready to meet it for one. Just take the 50 50! Oh, he tried to do another one, Jake. He tried to cross under. But I, I don't know how he was ready, but Ren Jerome gets out of it. And that sparking gone. That 2 H is going to clap. And look at the damage he's going to be able to pull out because of it. And like you said, Jake, take the 50 50. Take the 50 50. And now Zark is regretting it. So, something that I see a lot of players try to do is they overcomplicate their mid. And by, like, when you can make someone flip the coin in a very simple way, make them flip the coin. I understand you're at a deficit. I understand you only got six bars to work with. But now, you lost the game. You didn't take your 50-50 three times. Yep. Three times. Those three hits could have led to a dead UI and a dead Gogeta 4. 
Yep. Like, just, I, just make him flip the coin. You're, you're absolutely right. Like, you died with that six meter, and now it's going nowhere. Like, you're not spending that anywhere. It's wasted. And you had, it's not like you didn't have the opportunities. You had a p loads of opportunities to do it. And Zark will regret that in the first game. Bunch Romo will be happy with that. We went back to character select, or went back to the, the, the menu screen. I wonder, did we see a change of teams? Because I do know Zark plays other characters. But we'll find out right here, right now. It's 1 0 at the moment. Bunch Romo. One up, and we do. No, we don't see a change of characters. I'm so excited. It's a change of colors, though. Ooh, happy Ooh. birthday to start. This is huge. Please just tag him out. No, not even gonna go for the blue health here. I don't agree with that. You know, a little bit of blue health can go a long way. But it's the 50 50 off the Super Dash on to Brennan Zuormo's Gogeta 4. Looking like he has a new sign of life here. Sometimes taking this. Second. There it is. The first level three we've seen from him. It only took a game to realize that spending the bar might be worth it. And even if he sparks here, you took away so much blue life that he Ooh. still does in one hit. And because of the mix, Zark will go a character up. And it's very clean, by the way. Three green bars of celery on Zark's side. Yeah, I just need a little bit of peanut butter. Ooh. Right now, the butter is going full stick. Oh, loops. Show me the loops, brother. We're going to the theme park. I'm tall enough to ride. Wait, do you guys have Cheerios in America? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, are those the, the, the optimal loops, or is it fruit loops? What's, what's the better loop in America? I don't eat cereal, so I don't care. <laughs> Good oh. answer. Oh. Uh, me either, meat cleaver with the meaties. Chopping them up. Looking good. Level three, final, I'm so happy. There's just more level threes that we saw in the first game. He's already doubled the numbers. And look at like, look how I was working out for him. Gonna see DP. Woo! You can 2H off that, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can definitely 2H. I'm, I'm thinking, you know, just a little bit of nerves here. Mm. You know, probably not confident, but that was definitely not jailing. Well, Andromo will take it. No level 3 spent. And look at the brave mash out from Zark. He's not having any of it. Woo! Just what the hell? The mid mix? It was, it was mostly a situation where he saw the jump, was looking for the left right, and just boom, started holding the wrong direction. You know, the walk forward block of my face. But, yep. Renjormal, with the you're in, in the corner, infinite pressure works. But, the Vegito assist, it's a DP assist, it's a combo assist, it's an offensive and defensive assist. It does everything and attacks. Level 3, 50-50. Tell me what you got. And normally you have to guess. But this is our Oki. Renjormal okay. playing Jiren. He can wake up with any sort of reversal option. Ops for Vanish. And Zark just not ready in the raw tag. Will connect. He's going to go into the 2 4 h to get the extension from this. No assist on his side, so we're just gonna keep it simple. But what's for breakfast? Just JH for Zark, mash out again. Take note of that, Jake. Yeah, really important. Gren Jormo has to, has to realize this, that Zark is not respecting on wake up. And mm -hmm. complete opposite story that we saw from the first game. No sparking on the side of Gren Jormo. Zark feeling much more confident. Taking, taking a second after the first game to really compose himself. No, doesn't get the air punish on the S. But still, looking good. Any touch will kill, but Jiren! Oh, and done. <laughs> Two, oh, that's a medium starter, too. It's gonna be more than enough damage to kill. It's a, it's a tough comeback, right? No sparking, about 60% health. And you have to eat through two of the finest characters in Dragon Ball Fighters right now. And Vegito, not an easy character to sort of digest in neutral for Jiren. And you can see the super dash. Two has one! That confirmed! The rain. All right, he's, uh, he's a funky homo sapien, okay? He's from a different planet. He's got different rules on his spell, on his normals. Almost call him spells, all right? Now, that's a that's a red card right there, all right? Get this man off the stage. But getting held down by the pressure of Vegito, really strong neutral, has the full screen lariat in the 5M. Oh, that's good. Ah! I love this from Prince Romo. The way he's using 2S to sort of keep Zark in check. It's worked out two or three times now. I'd like to see him keep going back to that well and keep applying this pressure, but the what? bell comes out. French Romo says, I'm getting out of jail any way possible. The fact that he challenged against unlimited Jiren works mm -hmm. is definitely terrifying because Jiren, the only time it's not your turn to press buttons against Jiren is, is when he does the command grab or he goes for DR. You do IED back and you punish. And he yep. just said, nah. I'm challenging. Seven frame button, forget it. That's it's not brave. It's brave. It's either brave or stupid, right? But these these players in Wanted, I have to I have to favor the, the, the first one, right? Because I do believe that both of these both of these guys have played each other before, but it's about yeah. knowing the habits, right? So we've seen the 5 0 and wake up come out from Zark a couple times. And we've seen Zark sort of just fake mix Brendan a bit. 
Um, so definitely, you know, uh, players knowing each other pretty well at this point. But yeah. we're going to get into the third game, one apiece. And Spark already forced for a bridge Roman. I mean, Brent's... Oh, he called it out! That's one of the things that's really, that players can notice. If you're in parking, they're typically looking for the left-right, especially on a character like Vegeta. If you don't keep it in a jailing situation, it's rough. And, uh, you know, Vanish on Wake Up, not getting punished. These players need to just be in a situation where they're waiting. Um, if you start to see that your opponent is vanishing out of the corner, you just gotta wait and let them hang themselves. You have to let them live with their poor decision. And right now, mm -hmm. neither of them are putting them into that situation where both of them have vanished out of pressure consistently. Oh, double overhead, my forehead, it hurts. Yep. And there's no sparking to get you out of this one. If he wants, he can spend a level three. Absolutely, goes into the blue Goku level three. As Potent Mix with Super Drop, you go low with an ID. Oh, sorry, high with an ID, low with 2L. Oh, Ooh. to go low and you see the reversal. Brent Roma tried to get out of that. But he will be punished, and because the assists have come back, this should be a kill for Zark. And he's so far ahead of it at this point, right? He's a character. He's a sparking up. All you have to do is close this lead forward and close this game out, Zark. Yeah, this is that I've known. Wow, what a 2H. Um, Not sure what... what... Oh, <laughs> the shoulder tackle. Um, something, something I think Zark has picked up on is Brent Jormo. He, he has a tendency to always be on the offense, always trying to move forward in these defensive situations. Sometimes you have to block. You have to show your opponent that you are willing to go for these defensive options. Because sometimes the best option is just to block the weight. And if you don't, then your opponent's just going to meet you every time and punish. Or, you know, full screen punish the super dash. Hit you with a 2H on the cross up. If you don't keep it real just a little bit, you're going to be in trouble and again. Sometimes the best defense is just holding the pressure. That guard cancel was tragic and now you're exploding. And Zark is going to continue the offense. Great walk under, but couldn't get the proper punish on that 2S. But another great jump from Zark. And this is what we wanted to see, right? We wanted it to see him control the neutral. American reset, but don't worry, that's fine. Calm yourself down. But, oh, oh okay, no, no cut. There's a lot, of, a lot of spaghetti on the floor right now. It doesn't matter, <laughs> but, all right? It's a pasta oh. party. Okay, I say this a lot, right? When you're unwanted, there's a lot of eyes on you, and you might not be used to it. And you might jump out, and you might drop a couple combos here. Uh, but it's very important to take some time, head back if you need to, but I think both players going straight back into it. And I, I like this result. Zark has the momentum. He won that game pretty clean, didn't have to spend, spend spark defensively, and Brendromo has to find a way to sort of take the lead in this point ball, and he's doing it right now with Gogeta 4. Yeah, that's such a reaction test right there with the level up, but it was also a little bit cheeky. If Zark should be paying attention, more attention to the assist because it becomes a situation where once the overhead comes out, you definitely challenge just like that. And if he goes for the level up, you have time to react. It is hard, but you have to be looking for that against Gogeta. And now Zark on the offensive. Woo, wake up 2M, you're kidding me. He's brave with it. Oh, that 5 0 anti here tried to air dash, and that's the sparking force. So, both of these guys are sparking. The next hit is going to be pivotal when that DP comes out. Get off of me. And that's both sparking fading for both of these guys now. And it's all fair games now. What wow. the hell? 5 0 oh, oh, It's a 2 0 for S. Yep. Yep. You know, it's it's our it's our OP. It's our mm -hmm. plus frame. It's our negative frames. That's how Gochita plays the game. And again, it comes down to the best option is sometimes just wait. Let them, let them cycle through all their options. And then punish accordingly. Very good Dragon Rush from Ren Jormo, though. And that's that's something that needs to be happening. That's why I feel like a lot of success comes from the other French players. They let you just make make, make your own face. bed. Yeah. Don't get fuzzy. I was gonna say after that level three, definitely an option for Gogeta, but does not for two or four S to stop the air to air. Ren Jormo is thinking like four steps ahead now, but can't get confirmed. Goes into the spinny kick anyway. That should be dead. Ren Jormo finally wins the point for. Only took another few games to figure it out, but just you know, so a lot of it was reads and, and mm. re, re, to be consistent, you have to rely on reads and good overall decision making. And French Ormo right now with a lot of the reads on deck, feeling good, but you have to hold this 50 50. You need to get the right read right now, or this is gonna be looking long. Reed Richards, Manish, into the two and catching you slipping, and now you're tripping. French Ormo is gonna lose that UI Goku. It's all tied up, two characters apiece. Oh, and I, I like what you said. I like what you said earlier about how the French players play. Because a lot of the time it is, you know, letting you make your own bed, but they also are creatures of habit to an extent, right? They've all played against the Vegetos of France. They live there, it's born there. Uh, but if you can keep them on their toes, it's really big. 
Jomo Jomo. He's gonna have to adapt to Zark's playstyle now. He's getting on the offensive. I like this change, right? He's using the taunts in the middle of his strings, but messing up the play. Oh, sorry, changing up the position a bit. Really keeping Zark on his toes. But now, too far of range. He goes right back to neutral. But you can see Zark just trying to make his way in with the sassy kicks and the reflex by them. Nearly caught him. Great block. And they go back to neutrals. I say that. Super dash right back in. Yeah, the Banshee Blast is very punishable. Looks for the Super Dash in mid-screen. You're not going to recover in time, so very good stuff from Benjorma. No assist, and you got to be looking for that. I don't think Zark is at, like effectively tracking the assist on the side of Benjorma, and that's where you keep getting hit by these options. He doesn't have many left with no assist, and you're in the corner. He can only go high, Dragon Rush, or Command Grab after you block the low. So I think Zark needs to pay more attention to the resources that Benjorma has. Absolutely. And these are the two characters that are going to take advantage of your your sort of lapse of judgment or just not being awareness, right? Because Brent, um, Brent Drummond's Jiren and Gogeta can both reset pressure with the low counter Ooh. with the finish sign. Nearly punished there, but gets away with it. Nice. Super nice. dash. And again, that's the time you need to escape from Jiren. I brought it up before, but no! The, the Dragon Rush doesn't connect. Little Dubai with the 2M! Goku! He's dead! Oh, this is it. This is a one-touch game. Because he, he's going to have a level 5. Oh, ooh, he's got to build the bar for the level 5 for the next touch. But he's going to be so close. Ooh, and actually, it's so close to killing, but he doesn't. He has to spend the extra 2 bar on level 5. It's yep. going to be a kill, and you have to take that. You have to be happy with it. But like you said, he's not going to have enough meter to kill, unless it's like a 2M start or something. But I like this from Zark Chase. Gogeta down before he can use those great normals in neutral. 5 0 DR. That's a tournament style dragon rush from Zark. And he'll get knocked down. Are we going to go for level 3 here? Yes, we nope. will. All right, now I, I want to see Bren Jormo. This is where you got to You got to go to the library. You got to read the book. Are you going to DP or are you going to block? Oh, he made us again. Just wait, Zark. Just wait. Let him hang himself. Oh, the oh, two didn't get him. Plus three oh! into the DR, Brendroma will end up taking it if he keeps this simple. Four bar to work with, go straight into the level three. And do you want fair play? Fair play to him, because I think he's found one of Zark's weaknesses, and it's exactly what you said. He falls asleep on the at the wheel a little bit, right? When he's under pressure, he's not necessarily looking at assists, not necessarily looking at meter, um, and not really looking for the correct places to get himself out of the situation. Um, and Benjamin has taken advantage of it. Really well played. What I want to see from Zark now, though, is just really controlling the neutral a little bit. Forcing Benjamin to come towards you a bit more, because as you're running into him, he's doing this every single time. Yeah, and, and you gotta, you gotta, it's like an autopilot part. You see a lot of blue Gokus do this. They'll do the shoulder tackle into assist, and Benjamin is like, yes, waste your assist. Let me get in for free. I'm gonna do the counter, and I need to see how Justin, again, please just wait. Just wait. Every time, I, I it's upsetting me that that both of these players are getting away with defensive vanishes. If you watch this VOD, guys, go for your meaty, do IEDM to meaty, and if they up tech vanish, you can 2H and punish them because now Zark without the punish, another drop from Benjorma would have been dead again. The vanish, please just wait, just wait and punish. <laughs> Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Fool me three times, we're both crazy at this point. Because these vanishes have been happening all game. Definitely need to be punished, but right now, Benjoma will force us, uh, will be forced to spark, get 2H. And look, this is gonna be a brick ton of damage and that sparking completely wasted and outside the window. And honestly, I wanna see you do DR, safe drop, and 2H has vanished because it's coming, right? Again, goes for the guard cancel. But again, that's another option where if you, you literally just jab, you're going to punish. Doesn't punish the negative, oh, doesn't punish the recovery on the ground either from the EX. It hurts, man, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It hurts, help, help me, man. Good Dragon Rush, help. Help, no one can help you here. This is one tip, there's no help here. We're old, for now at least I hope. But level three will come out for Benjomo, and he can grab the Sparky from Zark, right? Sparking is still on deck. If he can force it out here, definitely puts himself in a great position, but he has no meters to work with, so he has to be careful. Spark forced. Zark goes back on the offensive. The shoulder barge, oh, sorry, the, the elbow will connect, but no confirm. Oh, happy, happy birthday! And that is going to be a lot of damage. That should be a dead Jiren completely. 
Level one, level one, level three. Actually, no, I'll do the level one. Do level one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect, perfect. All right. Thank you, Zork. Your your happy birthdays are optimal. Your punishes on empty Ven on Venice is not, but you're gonna be losing your blue Goku now. Still a one. Both of Ben Jormo's characters are one touch, even if you get that blue health back. So this is looking rough. Still pretty even though, because 21. If you sneeze at her, she's gonna die. I did say before I want to play a bit more passively or force Ben Jormo to come to him. He has to be careful, right? Because of that lightning hammer that Vegeta, um, Gogeta has. He can definitely get through any of the projectiles you choose to throw from long range, so you can't play that same zoning game. You have to be super careful. Like this, if he lightning hammers, you have to be so, so careful. And I like that from Zark's oh. The lightning hammer comes out the 2H to punish that air dash coming forwards. And just like that, Gaiden slightly flipped on his head, but Zark still has the life lead and has so much meter to work with. Yeah, the recovery on that EX was a little bit too fast. He needed to use a more advanced than normal, like a 5M, which would have punished perfectly. Because you can do 5M, jump 5M into 2H, but it does not matter. That is going to be a dead Gogeta. And now it's a one-touch game on the side of Zark, two-touch game on the side of Brain Jormo. Fully, just bait the Vanish. Bait the, just once. Do it for me. Do it for me. That's all I want to see. I, I got some Macharino bucks in my pocket. If, if, if one of them punishes and baits the Vanish, I will donate to it. Kill him. I love that jump over 5M. I'm pretty sure Brenjomo thought, okay, he's too far away to get anything. Nine frame of 5M doesn't care. Push himself right next to him. Zark will end up taking the lead. And I've, I've honestly liked the adaptation, but at the same time, I am seeing glaring flaws, right? The main flaw in not punishing the vanishes, not punishing the guard cancels, those are punished by you know, similar things. So you can just wait, be patient, and let Zark really punch. Oh, sorry, Brenjomo. Uh, fall into your trap. Yeah. Exactly. Well, we're gonna it, get it, into it game six. So close. Yeah, it's definitely a situation where it, it, it may be maybe just a reaction check, maybe just a situation where they haven't labbed out how to punish it appropriately. Not 100% sure, but it, it, it's something that will separate, say, a player like Shanks to a player like Zark. Jenks is going to be punishing those situations. He's going to be looking for that and immediately pick up on the happen. It should not... Oh, that was such a terrifying clash. That's rough. It shouldn't take six games to, to get to a punish on that. Especially if you're, like, in a first or two set, right? You have more time to adapt in these first to fives. But still, it should have been an adaptation in game three. <laughs> I mean, he gave you, like, at least 18 opportunities to... There it is again! And look, I like this. Let, let Bronjomo waste his assists. Like, just chill. Take your time. Whoa, 2L. Will it connect? Actually, I think that was 2 empty. Um, Not going to be a lot of damage. You don't have any assists to really extend with. I like this. Keep it simple. And you're seeing Bronjomo squirm. Try and get out of pressure before the mix even comes. There we go. That, yeah, okay, so you saw how it didn't say counter hit right there. He just got hit by the overhead. He either was mashing on Vanish, or he didn't block. It was one of the two. It was one of the two, but he kept it meaty. I've been there. I've been the guy in the corner. It was one of the two. There's no in between. That's, that's what Doc has to do. Like, keep it tight and let Renjomo make the mistake. Yep. He's up a character now, but Renjomo does have a lot of meat to work with. And with you, I go through and Jiren on your side. Any comeback is possible, but Zark will connect. Take him back to the corner? No, takes him outside. Just wants to chase him down. 2 M on wake up! Feeling frisky Wait. today, aren't we? Woo! Yeah, feeling feeling daring. Daring today, are we? Apparently, apparently it's it's uh, Bren Jormo's trademark, the defensive vanish. That's not a good trademark to have. That's a that's a that, that's a TOD trademark. You will get TOD a lot for doing that, right? You give people their desired star, 2H spark, you die. Like, you can lose a character in an instant for it, but Jomo gets this level 3 Oki and will force the spark from Zark. I like it to so keep your lead, and the spark comes out from Jomo. The shoulder will beat the, beat the Super Dash, but no confirm. Oh, no. Yeah. The flip beam know. might be invulnerable to key blast but not... Not to, uh, not the normals. EX out, it wasn't real. Again, just keep him jailed. He keeps going for these reversal options. As soon as you leave a gap, he's gonna opt for one of them. Whether it's the Vanish, whether it's the EX flip. You gotta, you gotta be ready. You have to, you have to put him into a situation where you are not giving them opportunity or you're waiting in those gaps to get the punish. Mm -hmm. Don't always have to go for the 50-50, go for the mix. If you know someone's gonna try and get defensive out, really just bait the punish. 
I think you're absolutely right. But two characters apiece. Zark, slightly in the lead. And before we saw Branjomo use that 2S from Jiren to really stop the movement from Zark. And we've seen him fish for it again, but he has to be careful. EX elbow does go through Key Glass. It does come behind, so it's an easy, easy punish. Oh. Oh, will connect, but UIB actually messed it up. Yeah, UIB caught him at the wrong time. Give him a little ground bounce. Not the kind of combo you want to go for. All right, scary. Oh, let him know. And I let him know right back. He tried to give me the fingers. I'm going to give you the level three. You're dead. <laughs> that was definitely, I mean, hey, you know what happened? I just brought it up before. He left a gap once again. You know mm -hmm. what Brenjormo did? He sent it. He believed in that level three more than I believed in one of them punishing a, a, a defensive vanish. It's, it's, I don't know, because at some point you have to realize that you don't need to go for layer two if you're not even getting layer one off. Because he's not blocking any of these. You, you can't come on grab someone who doesn't block. Nope. It doesn't make sense. So, you know, Zark has to really think about his choices. But he has someone about to work with an Android 21, right? This is a doable comeback. I would like to see a defensive assist to get out. But, oh, oh, sorry, defensive need to use to get out. But Zark confidently in his defense. Five oh, down the I'll buttons. take five go. Yeah. It's a big play. <laughs> yeah, not going to be able to kill here, but you do get the 50-50, which is going to be huge. What are you... What, just... Take the- he's not dead! Just take the 50-50! Do you know what, though? I it might say, be, because might he be. did this level 3, he still has the command grabs on deck if he wants to use them. But, friend Jomo just had a... Oh, no. That's too hateable now! Yeah, just- to, nah, if he vanishes on the vanish, it, it's definitely a, a rough situation. Just please, please take the 50-50s, and now you're dead! Just take the 50-50! <laughs> Let's take the 50 50, man! <laughs> Why? Why did it hurt me like this, Dunk? I just want them to make him flip the coin! <laughs> just make him flip the coin, bro! I don't know. We, need, we need to check if there's collusion going on outside because they have to be talking to each other. It's like, don't worry, bro. I want 50 50 you if you don't 50 50 me. And Brent Jorma's like, yeah, fine. I'm just going to match it every single string you have. Like, like, think about when Brenjomo has blocked. Exactly. So, I really need Zark to do like a simple string, 5LL, and just not move. Don't do anything. Relax. It's it, it, it's one of those things where like on commentary, like there's a very clear option that you have when you have these resources. One of the strongest things about 21 is her ability to level 3 and get a 50-50 anywhere on the screen. And when you see that they're consistently not doing that, consistently not punishing, like, bad defensive options, you have to point it out. It's important to point these things out, otherwise players will not improve. And, and when you see it consistently in a match, it, it can get frustrating. Like, I want, I want to see these players grow and improve, and if these options continue to come out, or you're not utilizing the, the resources that a character has, you're not using the potential of the character, if that makes sense. Yeah, I, I absolutely agree. It's definitely one of those things that they have to check in the vlogs, and I think that's the great thing about Wanted. Uh, you can always just look back at your vlogs uh, on youtube.com slash ZDamascus. The quick plug in there, but... I'm just, bro, I'm tired of seeing it. I'm tired of saying it. Like, <laughs> Benjamin is not gonna block your mix. Stop trying. Unless it's airtight, and unless you just slap it there and block, he's gonna find a way out of it. Right? And some players make this work as a playstyle, um, where they're like, Am I gonna block or am I not gonna block? And you can see it bearing through here. It's working out for Brenjo Moon's upper character. Yeah. And, and and something you'll see like if your if mix isn't airtight, you have a, a glaring thing that'll protect you. Yasha plays a team that doesn't have a lot of airtight mix. Mm. Um but he has a barrier assist that also has hit fun. That makes it so okay, if you're gonna mash, you're punishing yourself. Right? Yep. Same thing with, like, Kaiden. Kaiden has a defensive assist that, okay, if you're going to mash, you're going to punish yourself, right? So it, it creates this layer where it's it's not an exact 50-50, but if you choose to mash, you're hitting yourself. But it doesn't matter. Bren Jormo getting two character leads, feeling really confident in this game right now because he's abusing that Zark hasn't picked up on it. He's abusing that Zark hasn't... Like, he's not waiting. He's not waiting in his pressure. He's not baiting out these options. And now Brent Jormel's just running away with it. He's in his head. 
absolutely, definitely in his head. And like, when games get like this, where you're thinking to yourself, oh my god, he's not blocking anything I'm doing, what can I do? Anytime I try to mix, he's just getting away. You can start to feel a bit defeated, and I feel like that's how Zark feels right now, and this may actually be dead as well. Oh, you're no. not even gonna 100%. get a chance. Oh, what is it? Yo, did you see the shimmy, Jake? <laughs> he, de he, definitely, he definitely tried to just Street Fighter shimmy him right there. Again, see, there we go. That's what you needed to do this entire time, Zark. He does a negative move into a unsafe option. Just punish him after that. That's it. That's the secret formula. That's the Krabby Patty formula right there, okay? The secret ingredient. And Zark may have the formula only right now. We'll have to see, he's got to prove it against the other characters. But Pajomo has seven meter, that's seven meter or a buster. He can use that anytime to get himself out of a situation. And you can see, Pajomo isn't even respecting his own negative friends, right? He was negative, he was like, I'm going to jump here because I know you won't press about because you're scared. And that should be enough for the kill. Pajomo gonna put himself on set point. And oh! <laughs> That was the best way that round could have ended because he was dead no matter what. But he dropped the combo and he dealt the... Just why? I should have laughed, but that's hilarious. Because like, it's, it's definitely one of those moments where you've you, you got like the pad in your hand. You're like, oh, I'm dead. Oh, I got reset. Now I'm really <laughs> dead. But look, I think. Oh, this. this I was looking at the chat, I thought one of the players was like, give us a break, let us breathe. Nah, you're in the go, cage, man. you're fighting through death. I gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta go, I gotta go to the doctor. <laughs> Down bad. Oh, nice cross up right there. You don't have resources to get out there. Could've gone for the DP. It's a down-down input. But now, Friends Hormel, 50% health. Gets out for free with the assist. I like that tag. Very smart, you can't really 2-H there. Very good reflex on the super dashes. You know, that's another marquee of a great player when you're reflecting the super dashes consistently and going back to neutral. And Zark's team wants to stay in neutral. Great jump, but again, not the right punish, but picks him up in neutral once again. The scramble is finally going Zark's way, having Brent Jordan on the corner. Please, just bait, bait his option. That's all, that's all I want to see. He was so scared. Did you see that? He didn't even take uh -huh. his Oki. He was so scared. He stood there, jumped back. When Joe was like, I know you're not doing anything, I was just jumping in the air. But that roll tag punished. And we're gonna see him spend some meat here. I wonder how much. Level three, I'm not sure if a fan, I'm a fan of. You could have vanished and then got the, the better rookie, but this kind of works. Let's see if you can force a spark in from Ben yeah, he, he actually had the next holy hell. Yeah. yeah, he wasn't exactly in the corner, so it, it's one of those situations where I don't like that spark at all. Bro, you had you had three sticks of celery, man! It wasn't gonna kill you on the fifth! Oh, and then- Oh no! <laughs> make it stop! Dogs, make it stop! Come on, Jake! Whoa, he's working full health! He's dead now! Oh, it hurts! It hurts, bro! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! I'm- In- In a rare, uh- a very rare position right now as commentators where we are lost for words because we've used as many of them as we can to try and tell Zark what to do. But it's just it's just maybe he's just not you know, ready to adapt in that set. And that's what you have to be able to do in wanting, right? When you have these first to fives, these these long sets, you have to adapt to the man on the fly. And right now he's not doing any of that. And Ben Jomo taking full advantage. Level three, here comes the mix. I just um, I just get cut the tape. Fathership, cut the tape! Cut the tape! <laughs> Damascus, this is this is Haram gameplay. Cut the tape, man. <laughs> this is some Video underground time. brawly stuff, man. Like, obviously, Franjomo has done well to be so far in Zark's head. He doesn't even want to take Oki. Okay. Like, can I get a wheel? Can I get a wheel? Be right back, screen. <laughs> <laughs> Super Dash full screen. Franjomo not getting punished. Zark has six bars. And a dream. He's got no meter on the other side for Prince Ormo. This is still possible, but it's such a hill to climb. I don't see a dream, oh. Jake. I see a oh. nightmare. That's his name. Oh, no. <laughs> Not like this, man. It was going so well for a little bit. I, I feel like he's not even going to get a chance to spend any of this VR. Oh, I take it back. Doc was looking at the library book. The same one Prince Ormo was reading. I'm going to 5 or wake up too. I'm going to mash out to it. He's giving himself a life. It's a 1v2. 
Right. Anything can happen. Just a couple more hits. One, he is the protagonist. He is the protagonist. But then there's two per no, well, two protagonists on the other side. That's true. Full screen super dash again, not punish. Ah! <laughs> okay, okay, it's out of your own book, Ventormo. Okay, it's out of your own book, bro. <laughs> this is full tilt. This is full tilt, by the way. He's fighting from only anger, malice, and tilt, and he's like, anything you can do, I can do too. Zark. Zark. Oh, oh no, God. he's dead. He's just dead. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You need to be UI to beat Jiren, and you're only blue. Well, well, and you're the blue in the face. Blue in the feels. Nani? Oh my god. Nani? Bro. Look, I, I think both of the players are going to be a little bit disappointed in their performance. But, Renjumo 